So today we are going to be talking hair mask hair treatments. Um, so first things first, I'm going to tell you the one that I am going to be using, and this is Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. So I hope you can see that it's the right way around. Um, I love this treatment. It's a bit of a cult product. A lot of hairdressers love this. A lot of supermodels. Um, it's been around for a long time. It's a very old product, um, but it is amazing. Um, I definitely recommend this one. Um, but I would say there are a lot of really amazing masks. I'm a bit of a product junkie and I have masses and masses of masks um, and I like them all and mix them all up for different things. Um, but today this is the one that I'm going to be using. It's a little bit different in that it's a pre-shampoo treatment. So some masks you'll find that you shampoo first, pop them on, um, condition after. This is a pre-shampoo treatment, so you do need to spray the hair down first of all. Um, so I'm going to grab a water spray, um, I'm going to spritz my hair down, brush it through, that's important. Um, and then we will come back and I'll talk to you a little bit about the treatment itself, its benefits, etc. And then how to apply it. Okay, so I've combed it through, sprayed it down. Um, you can do that obviously in the shower um, or you can just spray it like I have with a water spray um, or you could wet a brush and comb it through with a wet brush. So but you definitely want it damp um, before you apply this product. So like I said, this is specific to the product that I'm using. Um, obviously you need to follow um, the ingredients on the individual treatment that you're using. Um, so I am going to, I've got a little bowl, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to add some of my product into my bowl so I started off with about that amount for my hair my hair is kind of medium um, thickness you may need more I may need to add more but I'm going to start with that sort of amount so you're going to take a section through the back and you do need a clip as well so just to make your life easy so clip that up and then I'm going to divide that into two so a little bit of product into your hands you're going to add it more mid lengths and ends to begin with and then work it nearer the root. So the one thing I would say um, with this product is it's quite lightweight um, and it can be added onto the root of the hair. Not all masks you can do that with and not all masks I would advise that you do that with. Um, but like I said, this product is lightweight. The only hair type I'd say to not do that with um, is fine hair. Then I would say literally work from mid lengths and ends downwards. So um, this product is good as well for fine hair just apply it slightly differently and obviously avoid the roots so just working through kind of methodically nice big sections and get obviously the product on and into the hair and I just like to kind of work it through with my hands and like I say majority is going on the mid length and ends and then I'm just working it back in towards the root area So with this product, the one thing I would say, drop my clip, hold on. One thing I would say, um, concentrate on the areas that need it most. So that is gonna be for most people, especially color treated hair, it's gonna be um, the ends, they're gonna be drier. Um, and it's also gonna be areas that naturally break more. So that is gonna be these fine hairs um, around this hairline. Um, those hairs tend to be the most delicate um, and the majority of us color our hair. So it needs a little bit more attention. So when I get to that hairline, I'm literally gonna put the mask on like this around the front. So I'll show you. So I'm gonna pop it on right towards the root and literally around the hairline. Um, and that's gonna take care of that. This um, mask contains castor oil, olive oil and elastin. Um, castor oil specifically is good. You can use it neat actually, castor oil, but it's specifically good um, for the fine little baby hairs that you get around the front um, and repairing them. Um, and repairing the damage and making them grow um, stronger and healthier. So this product contains that anyway, but that's a good little trick actually. If you've got castor oil at home, you can add it onto those little delicate baby hairs around the front hairline. Um, so like I say, you're gonna add more mid lengths and ends first, and then you're gonna work back towards the root to get this product added in. So I am gonna continue my whole head um, and add this product, and then I'm gonna talk you through um, what you do next. Okay, so I've added that all the way through and then I've given it just a little bit of a light brush through, back through with the tangle teaser. So don't ever use a comb um, when the hair's wet because it's very delicate. 
um, tangle teaser all the way, hair's ever wet, that's the only thing you should be using. Um, so after you've done that, what I would say to do is literally just feel the hair and see um, has it absorbed a lot of the product. If it has, it's because the hair's porous, like I said, it's uh, especially if it's colour treated, it's going to tend to be porous, it's going to tend to suck up a lot of that um, treatment, whatever mask you tend to put on. So if it feels like it's kind of soaked in and you're not feeling a lot of mask left on the hair, um, I've just got a tiny little bit left over. So I'm just going to add the rest of that just through those mid lengths and ends. Um, don't waste it. You can't overuse this product either. That's the great thing about it. Like I say, it's very lightweight. So don't be worried about kind of overloading it with, with too much product. But um, if it is feeling like it's absorbed a lot of the treatment, just add more. Um, you need to make sure that the hair has got enough on there to soak it up. So you've got a few options. Um, this product does specifically say that it can stay on for 10 to 20 minutes, um, but equally it says you can sleep in it overnight. I tend to like to sleep in them overnight. Um, I may shower it out later um, so that I can kind of show you the results, but I may sleep in it overnight. If I do, I'm just gonna come back on here tomorrow and let you know um, how it feels. Um, when I do wash it out, I am going to use this product for anyone that's got fine hair. Um, I literally love this shampoo. So again, it's a Philip Kingsley shampoo, um, specifically for fine hair um, or medium hair, but it's a very weightless shampoo and it is a bodybuilding shampoo. So I definitely recommend if you've got fine hair um, or you've got hair that you like to give a little bit of uh, bounce and vitality back to, try this product. Um, I will show you after I've washed it. Um, out how it feels um, and another thing that I just wanted to show you as well um, because this is for one of my clients and um, you know who you are um, this is a much cheaper um, product than elasticizer um, I'm not sure how much it is but I think that big tub is, tub is about six pounds um, it is Garnier and it is hair food banana and shea butter um, it smells amazing um, and it is amazing it's a, it's a really good mask as well so you don't have to spend a fortune. I love this one, um, especially if your hair's a little bit dry, um, bleached. This is a lovely product. Um, it goes on in between your shampoo and conditioner. So different thing, you need to read the instructions, um, but I really do love that product as well and would recommend that. So um, I might try that on my sister's hair so I can show you the results um, and come back on here and show you um, how that came out as well. So that's another one that I recommend. So I'll hold it up there so you can see, lovely. So uh, what else do I need to tell you? So after you've done that, the thing I like to do with, with any treatment really, especially if it's on at the roots, is literally just like we do in the salon when we're washing your hair, just a little bit of a fingertip massage. Um, it is really good. That's why they do it in Indian head massage, but it's really good for stimulating blood flow. If you stimulate blood flow in the scalp, it promotes good hair growth. So I like to just do that. So you can do that for five minutes or 10 minutes, just zone out however long you want to do it for but that is a really nice thing to do after you've applied your mask treatment so this product comes with if I can find it because I'm not sure where I've put it now it comes with um a plastic cap to pop over the top um I would use that because I'm using this product if you don't have that and you're using a different product I would say to wrap it in a towel um you need heat really with a mask um, so you can even warm your towel up on the radiator, um, but just like you would normally do. So I'm going to flip my head forward and show you. But we all do this. We all girls know how to do this if you've got long hair, but literally little turban, tuck it up um, and leave that on. I'm going to put my plastic mask on and look really attractive after I've taken this off. But yeah, literally um, towel on and leave it for as long as you possibly can. If you're going to sleep in it, you can always braid it. Um, and just leave it in a really loose plait and sleep with it and then um, wash it out in the morning, condition it out in the morning, whatever you need to do, um, depending on the treatment. So um, like I said, a few benefits of this mask specifically, but most masks will do a similar thing, but this one specifically adds elastin back into the hair. So it allows the hair to have more stretch to it. Um, if the hair has more stretch to it, it makes it stronger. Um, the benefits of that are obviously less damage, split ends are improved, um, more bounce, more vitality. And the main reason I love this um, treatment so much is that you get a lot of shine on the hair as well. So I think they are the key points. And like I say, I'm going to come back on here um, after I've rinsed it out um, and I'm going to show you the end result. When I do that, I'm going to add another product onto my hair called Inner Lux, um, which is something that we love in salon. It's a bit of a cult product for us in salon. Um, all the staff love it. 
um, it's a serum or it's an elixir, it's a serum, similar thing, um, and it gets added into the hair when it's wet. So after we've washed it and um, conditioned, it gets added in then. So I'm going to add that um, afterwards and I'm going to show you that and then I'm going to show you how glossy and shiny um, both of these products work together. So I hope that was helpful. Um, and if there's anything else you want to see on our IGTV, just drop us a little DM and let us know.